Hello everyone, this is Shining Noctowls, and tonight I'd like to share a very powerful piece that I was inspired to write today. Um, I uh, felt like, you know, with having some very um, powerful thoughts and emotions today, I figured it would be good to share this piece, and this is probably one of the most uh, powerful pieces I've written, and it's a fairly, uh, it's a little bit of a longer uh, piece uh, than what I usually put out there, um, but I felt like it'd be uh, good to share this one with you guys. This piece is called My God and Goddess. My the god and goddess are not constricted by man's ego. They cannot be boxed in as some men have sought to bend nature to submission. For nature is beyond their grasp as my mother's raven stare crumbles in the way. As they look in horror, having their power denied to them as their scythe approaches them. My father the primal masculine force of nature who has been demonized for millennia is the horned one who illuminates illuminates from my mother's womb, horned protector of her word and the will of nature. Yet he has always been there with mother, at times even surprising her as genuine light does for genuine darkness. As he is the life everlasting and that which originates from her void of nothingness. As the sun emerges from the endless sea of the starry ravenite sky. My father and my mother go by many names. Relating to my father as Kukanunos. Relating to my mother as Morgan. Yet they remind me that I am part of them as they are a part of me and nature itself. Instead of making others simply kneel, they lift me up and show me the strength and personal sovereignty within. Reminding of, reminding me of the flame within, that which illuminates myself and my shadow. Embracing nature as they walk with me. Accepting my humanity as they walk with me, embracing the earth as they walk with me, always they walk with me and within me. If a life is taken, whether it be plant, fungi, or animal, they remind me to be thankful to the life that was departed for my strength and sustenance, to give them a moment of silence so that they may more easily rest in peace. They have been here even before time itself. And they will continue to be here till the end of eternity itself. For they are first father and first mother. And I am glad that I carry their faint flame and will within me as nature becomes empowered once again. Whew, that was rather very powerful piece, but sometimes that tends to be the case, just like it is with very various musical pieces. Anyways, um there's my pen name below, Jim Shadow Illuminated. Anyways, I hope you guys fi found this video interesting, and I hope you all have a good rest of the day or evening. Bye!